Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brother Paul here. I have a very interesting dream interpretation here. But first of all, you have to go re-watch video 15, because this was a dream I had called Witness to Disaster. And to this day, it's the most clear, clear vision dream I've ever had. And I never got confirmation from it from God back when I got it. But this entire week, it's been really, 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 really on my thoughts. And the Holy Spirit really wants me to put this out. So first go watch that video and then come back and watch this and you'll understand this one after. So here it is, the interpretation of video 15, Witness to a Disaster. So I'm going right into the words here because I'm assuming you watched it. So I woke up at 7 a.m. And the number 7 is a completion and a perfection. It's Genesis 2, 1 and 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all of the host of them and on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made and before I forget this was a Sabbath dream too so we're doing it on the Sabbath second word was old friend um, it was a Proverbs 824 the man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother which is Jesus third word was betrayed Matthew 27, 3 and 4. Then Judas, which he betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself, and he brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the most innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And then I wrote Sewer Plant, and I, I couldn't believe I ended up finding one. It was 2 Kings 2020. And the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and all of the might and how he made a pool and a conduit and brought water into the city and they had not written in the book or have sorry they are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the King of Judah then I wrote secret tunnels which was a Luke 8 17 for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad and then I wrote Breach in Wall, which was an easy kill 13-5. Uh, you have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedges for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. And then I wrote uh, A Need to Tell Authority, and this was a huge one. This was 1 Peter 2, 13-25, so I'll go through this quick. Submit yourself to every ordinance of the man for the Lord's sakes, whether it to be the king of the supreme or the governors, as unto them that they are sent by him for punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them, that they do well. For so it is the will of God that will well doing you may be put to silence the ignorance of the foolish men as free and not wishing liberty for the cloak of the maliciousness. But as the servant of God, Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king, servants, be subject to your makers with all fear, not only to the good and the gentle, but also to the uh, froward, the harsh. For this is thankworthy if a man's conscience toward God endures grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it when you buffeted, like criticism, by the faults you shall take it patiently but if you but if when you go well sorry but if when you do well and you suffer for it take it patiently so for this is the acceptance of god because christ suffered for you you should suffer for him who did not sin neither was guilt found in his mouth neither was guilt found in their mouths when he was accused he didn't he didn't threaten back but committed himself to him that Jesus was righteous, judges righteously, who his own self bore of all the sins in his own, oops, um, in his own body on it, on the tree, that we being dead to sin should be unto righteousness by those stripes. You were healed, for you were in a sheep going astray, but are now turned into the shepherd and the bishop of your souls. This is incredible as I'm doing this video the winds picking up the birds are going crazy in the background it's like they don't want me to do this anyway the next one's called hidden underground plans Isaiah 29 15 
Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? <clears throat> I, I had seen a closed tunnel in there, so closed tunnel was a Revelations 1 to 20. Um, John, I, I'm making this a short version. You're going to have to go read this. It got really long. John sees the vision of the Lord's day. <clears throat> he hears and sees what Jesus will do on his return as John witnesses in the spirit with escorts of all the angels. But please go read this one. Um, I put known person is in Exodus 32, 22. Aaron says, do not let the anger of the Lord burn, you know, the people yourself that they are prone to evil. I put mad and angry. It was a Proverbs 22, 24 and a James 1, 20. So here's the Proverbs, or sorry, the James Pro Proverbs. Make no friendship with angry men and with a furious man. Thou shalt not go, um, shall not go, yeah. And then the James 1, 20, for the wrath of men worketh not righteous of, righteousness of God. Wanted to enter into the pipe system was another one I found in Isaiah 1, 4. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with inequity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Um, this is by far the most words I ever found for any dream vision. So I wrote, drowning person, by faith they passed through the Red Sea, and as the dry, by which the dry land which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. So witness and disaster, I found Isaiah 3.9, this one's important. I put two versions of this so that you guys can get this one. I'll read the King James Version first. The shoe, the shoe of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hid it not, woe their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. I'm going to reread this in the New Standard Version so it's clear. I really want you guys to hear this. They look on their face, the look on their faces bears witness against them. They proclaim their sin like Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to them, for they have brought, they have brought evil onto themselves. The irony of this is I work with a woman who is a woman of, um, she's a lesbian. And her face popped in my mind because I've tried to uh, speak the gospel to her on a few times. I had a dream Jesus told me to talk to her about Jesus. And she's so proud and so against hearing anything, she fluffed it off. And I said, thank you for listening. And I moved on. I never brought it up again with her. But her face popped into my mind when I read this. So the next one was Channel Pathway, Mark 13, 11. But when, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thoughts beforehand. What you shall speak, neither do you premeditate. But whatever shall be given to you in that hour that speak you for it is not by you but the but it will be spoken by the holy ghost that's awesome so those went hand in hand i don't know if she's gonna betray me one day who knows um open up channel was the next one exodus 14 21 and moses stretch out his hand over the sea and the lord caused the sea to go back by the strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided and then of course there was a murder in the dream so i looked up murder and it was exodus 20 13 pretty simple thou shall not kill and then i had asked for advice the this is proverbs 12 15 the way of the fool is right in his own eyes but he that hearketh unto the counsel is wise Blame me or threatened was a Romans 12, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is now mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Uh, the 20th word was accomplice to guilt, which is a Leviticus 5, 1. And if a soul sin and hear the voice of swearing, and it is a witness, whether he hath seen or known of it, if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his inequity. I guess accomplices. Caught and persecuted is a Matthew 5.10. 
Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. And then 22 was hidden things, Genesis 35, 4. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands and all their hearings, which were in their ears, and Jacob had them under the oak, which was by Shechem. So this is what blew my mind. When I got all this calling back from the Holy Spirit to put this together, he revealed to me a code. So listen to this. <clears throat> there was 22 words. Each one of them represents a word. Now I'm going to read the 22 words. Each one of these parables had a word. So seven is perfection in all of God's work. Jesus was number two. Repent was three. Four was invent. Five was hidden things shown. Six was on the day of the Lord. Seven was honor each other. Eight was beware of the secrets. Nine was witness the mystery of Jesus. Ten was accept evil by nature. Eleven was stay away from bad influences. Twelve was provoke God. Thirteen was faith saves. Fourteen was they inflict themselves. Fifteen was Holy Spirit will speak when you're caught. Speak for you when you're caught. Sixteen is obey. And for, for some reason I found Moses. Um, Seventeen, do not kill. Eighteen, seek counsel of the Lord. Nineteen, vengeance is his. Twenty is blessed and persecuted for twenty and twenty-one. And 22 is sin. Now, isn't that amazing? This entire dream first, I couldn't, I didn't know how to interpret in those days. Now I have this body of 1 to 22 is revelations. Everything, I, I reread Revelation. I couldn't believe it. He gave it to me in a perfect council. I believe we, we already, already know that we're at the end of times. But we are there. We are there now. Things are happening all over the world. I pray right now with you guys, I pray, please God, in the name of Jesus, give everybody watching this video the discernment to understand this, have them use the counsel and the wisdom to look up these scriptures and reread them themselves so that they have full understanding of what you've shown me. I ask this in your name, Jesus, amen. Everyone, I love you, God loves you way more than I do, please seek, seek the wisdom of God, get in the word. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.